So Gennady Golovkin is once again the IBF middleweight champion of the world. That was an excellent fight, similar to Spence and Porter, which we just had. There was a similarity there in the sense that they were both really high quality fights, but there wasn't that much excitement going into them. And they were also fights in which the knockdown, I think, proved the difference. Golovkin wins narrowly, unanimously. Personally, I had Derevyanchenko one point up. 114 to 113, but that was not a robbery. Too many people just overreacting, screaming robbery. No way, a robbery is when one guy is clearly better. The first Lennox Lewis Evander Holyfield fight, which was rendered a draw, that is definitely a robbery. Now, this fight turned into the war that Billy Joe Saunders said it would. It probably has aged Golovkin that little bit more. In a fight that Golovkin didn't look great in, I thought his physical strength and his jab, which is normally so well-timed, would have been able to control Derevyanchenko a bit more as he started to fade. But no, they were just wailing away on each other. And it was really a case of, did you prefer the volume of Derevyanchenko, who was going to the head and body so well, mixing it up, or the more thudding shots of Golovkin? What was most surprising about this fight to me, though, it's not the fact that I gave it to Derevyanchenko just, but it was the sustained periods of success he was having. There was a moment in round 10 where he was almost beating Golovkin up. He was pushing him back in a way. I've never seen Golovkin push back. Earlier on, rounds uh, four and five, he hurt him to the body the first ever time I have seen the Kazakh hurt in the pro ranks. And he just seemed to be the, have the more positive body language throughout the fight. Golovkin, when he did land his shots, he landed some great uppercuts in there, but Derevyanchenko was never really deterred, and he was dipping to the side, blocking, and then punching in it, really showing the full repertoire, really giving credence to that nickname of the technician. Now, there's a problem here. Of course, yeah, Golovkin's aged. He was shut out for a long time. He should have arguably been given a chance against Sergio Martinez. He wasn't. He should have been able to batter Cotto, he wasn't, and then he had to wait for Canelo. That's all bullshit, I know. But there's a problem with Golovkin's career, which I think is going to be very difficult to resolve as the years go by, and that is, as Golovkin started to decline as a fighter, that is when he started to face better opposition. So it's really hard to say the fact that he's basically struggled and made a meal or arguably lost against all his best opponents, Jacobs, Canelo, and Derevyanchenko. It's hard to say what percentage was it age, and what percentage was it just these guys were good, and they perhaps showed that this guy, Golovkin, isn't as amazing, didn't have the Hagler, Carlos Monson trajectory, as people were saying, and which I resented a little bit, because that's just too much. He did look spectacular, but we had to wait, of course, a little bit. And now it's hard to see. It's hard to tell. Is it age or is it the competition or is it more likely a combination of both? Really good fight. As I say, it was kind of up for interpretation, but it was really those sustained periods by Derevyanchenko. He did such nice work. The defense, his footwork, and after getting cut early on, his willingness to get stuck in against such a feared opponent, he is definitely very tough as well. I'm not sure what he does because I don't think anyone's going to want to fight him. He was maybe going to fight Canelo, of course, that didn't happen. He's not a big name and he's an absolute handful, so I don't know what Derevyanchenko does next. A rematch with Golovkin, I think they'd be mad, Dazen, to make a rematch with Derevyanchenko. Golovkin now is... Is he 37, 38? This guy is getting gone and he probably is only going to get worse the... Now, I don't blame that so much on the performance, and they said ill as well, and I don't like it when they say this stuff. It's like, it lets off a bad smell. It's like, let's give some credit to Derevyanchenko because he looked excellent. But Golovkin is aging, and he's got at least another four fights he has to do with Dazen. But you just kind of feel with him as he continues to search for that meaningful big victory, which he was supposed to get in the first Canelo fight, you kind of feel now he's heading more towards his first really big emphatic loss.